Okay, this is my latest build that's uh, given me no end of problems. We have here an Asus P7P 55D LE motherboard, which is a 1156 socket and is listed as being compatible with Intel i3, i5, and i7. I am running a Intel i3 uh, 30.06 gigahertz, and that's the top number for that is 540. I've got a big Zalman heatsink I've just got sitting on there with a bit of thermal grease just to the ease of uh, manipulation of things. Um, we have a good uh, zippy uh, five, uh, sorry, 600 watt PSU. We have a, a, got a Radeon HD5450, just a good basic passively cooled. Um, I've tried it in both slots, no no uh, no improvement. We've got just a fan plugged into the CPU socket just in case it won't boot with the, with no fan installed. We've got the 8 pin in there. It's all connected. Uh, I've got two sticks in there. I have tried one stick in every single slot, uh, no improvement. <sighs> I've tried uh, resetting the BIOS uh, both by removing the battery and uh, soft resetting the memory with the jumper option available. <coughs> oh, what else have I tried? Tested with a different graphics card out of this machine, which I know is working. No improvement. Tested the power supply with an identical unit in my P4 over there. No improvement. Uh, the motherboard has been replaced with an identical unit. No improvement. Uh, I've got a buzzer on here. Um, that will only give me any feedback if I remove all of the memory and it can gives me uh, three beeps, which indicates no memory installed. So, yep, that's correct. Uh, it doesn't beep at all if I remove the graphics card. So, beats me what the problem with it is. Anybody got any ideas? That would be uh, most helpful. I'll fire it up and I'll see what it does. It, well, it does nothing. That's the problem. I've got that on. Idiot lights on. I'll light up just a switch. Okay, we've got the Memo K lights up for two or three seconds, then goes off. Um, as far as I can tell from the manual, that means the memory is okay. The memory has been tested by a local company, and I have said it's fine. We've got fan spinning, and we've got nothing. We've got that connected up by DVI. Card is in place. Beats me. I'll push me OK. That's supposed to cycle through a few settings. So default settings are supposed to make it work. No improvement. So yeah, my only conclusion left after basically everything has been tried with either an identical unit or replaced with a known working thing is that the CPU is defective. Which is a pain because it's the only thing I got in from order. So I'm going to have to fire it off back to the lower hut to get a replacement. Alright. Thanks, uh, thanks for looking guys and if you've got any uh, useful suggestions, um, all ears. Catch you later.